Midway into your preparation for CSINET comes Unit 5, a very important yet challenging unit for all the students. And today, welcome once again to What to How to series, and we are talking about Unit 5 Developmental Biology. Without development, everything is useless, right? This comes midway in the syllabus, very important but at the same time, tricky, interesting, yet challenging. And today, to make it simpler, make it easier, make it faster to recall, we have one and only the best expert we have got there for developmental biology and biotechnica, Urmi Malavam. Urmi Malavam, as I have already spoken to in the first uh, unit of uh, what to how to series when we had discussed I told already that Ulmi Malamam comes with vast experience at the same time she keeps learning newer ways of teaching her insights her way of training students is marvelous in fact I sometimes tell her that it would have been I would have been so blessed if, if she was my teacher when I was a student blessed are those students who are studying from teachers and experts like Urmi Malamam. So let us welcome, welcome Urmi Malamam to the session. How are you ma'am today? Thank you so much sir for your kind words. Thank you for having me here. It is my indeed pleasure and privilege to speak to the students about this. I am good sir and I'm very excited to talk about unit five, which is one of my favorite subjects in CSI syllabus. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for gracing this occasion. So uh, let me start by telling our audience that uh, Urmi Mala ma'am is not well. She has got viral and still she made sure that she is coming in for the show because your exams are near and we want to make sure that you get the best insight from the best experts available. So let us start, ma'am, with uh, the topic of the day, developmental biology. If you were a student today, how would have how you would have approached this unit? Yes, sir. So it is like similarly how we read a storybook. One needs mm -hmm. to go through the initial chapters to understand the later plots, right? Now, the way Globus is mentioned under CSIR net for developmental biology, it's already given in a very beautiful sequence. So aspirants right. just need to focus uh, systematically. They need to strengthen the first subunit, which is all about basic terms and concepts involved in development then only they must move ahead with the further processes like early development in model organisms like if one doesn't have the idea of concept of morphogens cytoplasmic determinant then studying drosophila development will not be <coughs> relatable they won't be able to okay. relate well with that concept so best is mm -hmm. uh, go for the first subunit first and then the later subunits okay so studying a sequence as the first uh, point of the day today now, uh, if, if we look at this particular unit, uh, what is your perception? How important this is o from the overall 13 units? How important this particular unit is, according to you? OK, sir. So I won't say that this is a very important unit that you cannot leave at all. Like mm -hmm, how I mm -hmm. had spoken for unit one. Unit one, it's best right. not to leave. But Unit Correct. five, I will not say it's it's a it's not it's not a hard and fast rule to not skip this unit. So one, mm -hmm. if they choose to skip this, they might do that, okay? Because at Biotechnica, we suggest preparation of eight to nine unit is enough to clear the CSI net exam properly. Right. So in in case any student is not having any prior knowledge of this subject, if they have not mm -hmm. studied it in their graduation or post graduation, then it will be time consuming to start to learn from basics. If they attend Correct. the classes, biotechnica classes, then it's fine because we anyhow go from the basic. But if they uh -huh. want to learn on their own, it will be very time consuming. So in that case, they have to opt out for this subject because then it will impact okay. the preparation of other units. Okay, so let's say somebody already has basics of developmental biology and he wants to you know, pursue this unit. We'll talk about those yes. students now. So, okay, which... Uh, topic they should pick on a priority like out of the list of topics in unit five on a priority basis of course we have to study in sequence but 
which part of this unit is like the most uh, you know priority one according to you yeah that's a very good question sir so uh, as i mentioned the terms and terminologies should be very much clear like induction competence the types of specification like autonomous conditional sensitial then uh, how the cellular processes happen differentiation determination right mm -hmm. and then we move to uh, the fusion of how egg and sperms they fuse in egg and sperm and uh, mm -hmm. how the block to polyspermy takes place so these are some things and what is very important from here is the cleavage patterns of the embryo that is the zygote when it divides how it divides what all patterns are there which type of eggs will divide in what patterns and then mm -hmm. coming to gastrulation is also very important what are the morphogenic movements the cellular movements which take place in the embryo and the most important part in this uh, animal development is axis formation sir so if in an mm -hmm. amphibia you take a frog which side will be dorsal which side will be ventral which side will be anterior which side will be posterior so how this axis is are formed by which molecular mechanisms those are extremely emphasized in during the question and uh, mm -hmm. apart from this there are some scattered topics like vulvar development in c elegans eye lens induction limb formation neurulation mm -hmm. so these also should be prepared along with that one type of question that comes a lot in this unit is transplantation based questions like if you okay. take a group of cells from here to there then what will happen so one has to constantly imagine from the experimental point also Mm -hmm. All right. So now let's uh, let's presume that there is an average student, okay, average student who has just got the basics right for this particular unit. So on a scale of uh, one to ten, if that person is approaching this unit, how difficult it will be for him on a scale of one to ten, according to you? Okay. So, uh, so actually, there are two kinds of students. The one who right. has more memorizing and retaining capacity. So for mm -hmm. them, this unit will be very easy. because uh, okay. honestly there are a lot to learn so gene mm -hmm. names and uh, molecular mechanism cellular processes what organelles are involved ha uh, lots mm -hmm. of that is to be memorized so for this okay. first kind of students it will be very easy i will say if they prepare okay. properly it will be around 7 to 8 uh, like e easiness scale will be 7 to 8 but then okay. uh, if uh, the other so type of 10 being easiest and 0 being one being the toughest that's what you are saying toughest Yes, okay. yes, sir. One yes, being toughest and ten being easiest. Okay, so seven to eight. Yes, so it is very easy. Ah, seven to eight. It 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 okay. will be quite easy for them. Okay, but the ones okay. who don't understand uh, have trouble memorizing to keep the concepts. Or they have to do constant revising. Okay, and they need some uh, proper conceptual learning. So for okay. them, this might seem a little bit a hand holding Daunting. will be required, sir. A hand holding okay. will be required because uh, uh, okay. to understand the concepts, one might they should have a proper mm -hmm. teacher also to teach them. Right. So that right. in that in that way, I will place it some four to five for those type of students. Okay. So um, people who are very good in remembering facts. this is going to be easy but people who learn logically they may find it a little daunting but that's where you need the right guru a true mentor and of course you have uri mala ma'am already there and lot of experts at biotechnica but ma'am what about the concept notes and concept table concept cloud will these things help here oh sir i can't emphasize enough on those those have mm -hmm. those are be like uh, benefits for a student i don't know how much i can't express how uh, uh, grateful they are that they are having this in, in their study era we didn't right. have any of this so with these mm -hmm. books they don't even have to put that much effort what is actually right. required Okay, because really, these are right. arranged tables all by themselves. So if one has to learn autonomous specification, conditional specification, there is a comparative table with all so the that. points which are necessary. Okay, right. and uh, right. in fact, question uh, in uh, in CSI question also comes amphibian mm -hmm. development and chick development. They will give mm -hmm. comparative questions. In fact, in the right. last question paper only there was a part C four marks question based on that. Comparison okay. between these two organisms. So these mm -hmm. comparative charts are really very helpful, sir, in memorizing. Yeah, yeah. So I, uh, you know, ma'am, I was just looking just before this uh, session, this episode. Uh, I was just looking at the mind maps which were which are coming for unit five and other units. It's like amazing. Like 
we are so blessed to be living in this era and uh, yeah so yeah it, it it's going to be amazing uh, you know studying from those mind maps as well all right let's come to the next question here look, let's look at the notes now so if we have to prepare notes they more, more or less going to be factual so what should be the approach of making notes for this particular unit yeah okay sir for terms and terminologies uh, i prefer basic boxes and few sentences okay. explaining the term should be enough then for okay. development processes one can prepare some circular or linear flow charts whatever they feel is good so you start with the process how it is starting like formation of gamete and all that and then mm -hmm. you uh, go continues with the process and end with what process and for each you can mm -hmm. just uh, pull up some short sentences here and there like a mind map then for okay. gene name and uh, what <laughs> process these genes control or what will be the mutational effect if the gene is mutated so in those cases table making will be very helpful so you can put the okay. column headings as gene name the process it controls mutational phenotype like that we have to be yeah. very careful sir since this is a theoretical type of subject we have to be careful yeah. not to cram our notes with too much of information because later right. we will not feel like studying it and for okay. figures one can take out uh, some colorful diagrams from reference book some print out they can take out instead of drawing okay. themselves in the notebook because these are very complicated diagrams so it will Correct. be time wasting also and they will not come out well as well okay okay so now uh, okay we've done with the notes we know uh, how to study now uh, what exactly should be uh, the uh, you know list of reference book we can ask for when we are studying for this is there any list of reference book or standard books yes sir there is a very excellent book on uh, development biology which is by scott f gilbert he, mm -hmm. so gilbert is okay. more than enough almost 80% of the syllabus uh, is covered in uh, gilbert book apart from Wonderful. that if anyone has read from wolpert wolpert is also a book then one more is there uh, jonathan uh, jmw slack essential developmental mm -hmm. biology so these books anyone can refer these are like standard reference books followed everywhere gilbert is right. the primary one for plants they okay. can refer the development parts from tais and zeiger okay okay so these are, these are the standard books which we can refer apart from the regular notes and study material which biotechnica is providing so there you have it guys you now know almost everything about unit 5 now developmental biology now the next question which comes to my mind ma'am is okay we have we always end up targeting multiple exams like gate dbt icmr so how helpful this particular unit will be there sir uh, not much in icmr and dbt they may mm -hmm. have some few basic questions about the physiology part animal but okay. not much of development but it mm -hmm. is a subject development biology is a, a separate subject itself in gate excel that is life sciences but not okay. in gate bt gate bt not in gate okay so for, for gate excel definitely it will help us there yes, yes, all right definitely. all right now uh, let me ask you a question from a student who wants to in future after qualifying say say it wants to do research in developmental biology so that person wants to make a career out of this so how scopic this particular branch of science will be in future what's your take on that yes sir in my entire teaching experience at biotechnica i have seen many students who come with almost zero knowledge of this unit and they are like mm -hmm. questioning me ma'am can i start can i study this is this easy and all but once they start preparing they start enjoying learning it so much that i mm -hmm. personally know few of my students who have already chosen this field for their research so oh. we have like a very good quality research in, uh, happening in uh, this subject in india in recognized right. institute for iisc and all so they have mm -hmm. like warm labs and all c elegance uh, development research drosophila development research so it's very fascinating to know how we and other right. organisms we have developed so we mm -hmm. have to approach the subject from that perspective and really sir it's uh, amazing how students get interested to pursue their research on this one Mm -hmm. first, just mm -hmm. learn from this uh, csi syllabus then automatically they get the interest because it covers most right. everything right and truly said curiosity is the key to science so if this particular unit makes you curious probably that's where you can take up your research in future wonderful lines ma'am there so okay uh, now that we know all this let us look at uh, the challenges which in general average student will face one challenge you already told us is like a lot of cramming and a lot of memorization of facts is there 
Apart from that, will there be any other challenges which the students will face when they're studying for this unit? There can, it can be time consuming, sir, because there are a lot of concepts to prepare and it right. will require repeated revision, sir. Uh, okay. Because uh, once you, because there are so many organisms to study. So of one course. might confuse between this and that. This so and it that. happens also so between sea urchin development, they will put the concepts in sea elegance development. So separately, <laughs> you can right. make chapters. Mix it up. Yeah, mix, mixing it up, it happens sir, a lot. Uh, and okay. uh, some processes are like concepts will apply to that process, but not to the other process. So mm -hmm. we have to analyze the situation, what experimental uh, condition they have given, and accordingly we have to answer. So whatever set okay. of experiments, uh, because this is a subject where scientists have found out uh, different mm -hmm. uh, discoveries before about the development. But uh, the, in CSR question, they will change the question. They will change mm -hmm. the experiment and then they will ask the question. But what student right. strategy will do, they will answer from the standard experimental result, which they should not. Mm -hmm. So every experimental mm -hmm. question should be looked at as a new approach. Okay. And probably when they start preparing for this particular unit from day one, they have to be very methodical and study it categorically. Probably that sol should solve this challenge as well. Those are golden words, sir, what you have said. It has to be Thank strategic. You. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. So, uh, all right. So now the number of questions which will come in part C and part B from this particular unit, what's your take on that? What's the average number of questions which comes? Sir, on an average, one can expect around three to four part B questions and four to five mm -hmm. part C questions. And among these questions, about 80% will be from animal development. Only 20% oh. will be from plant development. Plant development. So okay. This has been consistent. So far, It has this data has been consistent. Right, right. So I think I have asked you a lot of questions today for our unit five, and I'm so thankful that you have really made it crystal clear for all of us and all our audience there. So uh, last uh, question for you, uh, you know, last time we met and we were shooting for unit one, episode one of what to how to series, if you remember, there was no information about CSI and dates also. And now that we have the dates, we have exam in the next 30 days. What will be your message, golden words for our students, our uh, aspirants, and uh, how should they take this forward? Okay, sir. So if they are prepared, if they have prepared for their unit, if they have spent time for this unit, then better not leave your hard work. Better to revise. Mm -hmm. If you just take two, three days at a go, then you can revise the entire concepts. So you can take the syllabus and uh, pick up one one topic from there. I have already mentioned the important topics. Even in Biotechnica website also, several articles are there regarding important topics. So you just right. pick up the important topics from here and just start revising one by one as of now. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful words there uh, by Odin Mala Ma'am. Thank you so much, Ma'am, for joining us today. It was really wonderful and highly insightful uh, talking to you as always. Uh, so students, audience, and all my dear aspirants of Biotechnica who are targeting CSANet, Unit 5 is your cup of tea if you're good in remembering facts. If you know how to study strategically, categorically, and you've already studied in the next 30 days, you're going to write the exam, Please go ahead and revise it. Don't mix things up. So these are the words, a summary of what we heard from our expert. Now, look at, look at Unit 5 from a perspective of a student who really wants to score a high rank. I think you should not skip. I think you should pick it up. You know, it's always, in fact, everything looks challenging when you start. but it will rain opportunities for you if you pick this unit up for yourself. It's very interesting how we all developed as organisms. And there is huge scope in PhD also beyond CSIR net. So I think you should not skip. You should take this up. However, whatever is your approach towards this unit or any other unit or any questions you have, don't forget to comment them below. We would love to answer them. We, will we would love to make another video probably on something which might be bothering you. So that's all for now from the What to How to series. Signing off, Shekhar Suman. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.